I'm done. I'm really struggling today. I've got nothing left. I'm not even sure if I can do the last one. That feels so much harder than it should be. The right, hardest part's done now. It's got a two and a one. Not sure if I can manage the two, to be honest. Let's give it a go. All right, 10 seconds. Let's give this a go. One minute to go. That's so heavy. My whole body is really heavy. Lungs feel tight as well. Heart rate's high. I think I'm, it's almost like I'm coming down or something. Maybe I've got a bit of a cold or something. Who knows? Oh, I felt tough. All right, well, I've essentially done the session, although I missed out the four minute effort, which was, uh, in theory, the hardest one. But uh, you've got to be sensible. You've got to listen to your body. And there was just no way I was going to do a four minute effort as well, even if I ran it really slowly. And I finished more or less where I started. So that's one thing, which means that uh, I ran the second half probably about the same speed as the first half. So I was a little bit consistent didn't feel like it though, it felt like I was running slower. The other thing, thinking about it now, the air temperature is quite low, which might be why my lungs were sort of struggling so much, because when, it's, when the air is cold, it feels harder to breathe. Now those reps, I mean, I did the one, two, three, three, two, one, but uh, I'd say the minute effort was probably a bit slower than five minute mile pace. The two minute effort was probably about 3k pace. The three minute was definitely slower than 3k pace, well 3k PB pace, perhaps closer to 3k what I could aim for on next Sunday. So anyway, that's that, it's done now. Let's uh, cool down, do some core strength, stretch and get back to work.
Okay, that's the job done. I feel really tired now. Hamstring's hurting again, which is a real pain. Got to work on that. Got a physio booked for Tuesday, so hopefully uh, my friend can work on that. This is Avoncliff just here. It's where I started and finished. And uh, it's a lovely place. Just here you've got the canal going across on a uh, viaduct. So the canal goes over this way. So that direction's that direction is Bradford Navon. Comes across over the viaduct. That way. So this way is towards Bath. So you've got Freshford, which is where more or less where I was doing my warm-up drills. And then you kind of carry on and get to Bathampton and Bath. I did a virtual run along here from Bradford and Avon to Bath to Pulteney Bridge and Bath. Um, it's, it's actually uh, about 10.5 miles if you run from Bradford and Avon to Bath. But I did it in three parts because of the way I had to run it. I had to run out, then back, and out, then back. So I did three separate runs. It took about 20 miles of running to get it in. <laughs> also underneath here is the railway, as you can probably see. And then you've got the river that goes down that way. I think that's the River Avon. All right, let's do some core strength, do some stretching, and we'll call that a day. There we are, that's the session done. I'm late for work, so I better get on. The calf, my Achilles felt okay, actually. I think it was quite sore because when I did the hill session last Saturday, the same day, we did a walk in Cheddar. We walked about three kilometers. In fact, I think I walked more than that. Uh, uphill, downhill, and that really took it out. And I think the combination of the hill session plus the walking in Cheddar uh, probably really didn't help. And then the next day we did even more walking, which isn't great. Uh, but it seems okay. So uh, it's just a hamstring. Uh, I'm just physically exhausted, really. So I've got a week before this race. No idea what's going to happen. If it's anything like today, it's not going to be good. But hopefully today was just an off day. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching again. And I, uh, the next time you see me, I probably will have done the race because this, this video will probably go out next Friday which will be two days before the race. Then hopefully I'm going to record the race if I can. And then the next time you see me after that will be uh, the race and we'll see what happened. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.